So last time on the Guilds of Brockhart, our team set forth to go communicate and persuade Mufa Uncle Mufasa. And they met a very weird traveler along the road, if you want to call him a traveler. And they came across the cemetery. They learned from that traveler that they must go through the cemetery to get there. And as they start making their way through the cemetery, Dying Danger got a little ahead of himself and accidentally kicked a tombstone and a ghoul came out <laughs> or a guest came out and started attacking him. So they took, they fought on that one. They fought on a second one because someone else chipped over a tombstone and that's where we're at. They're <laughs> trying to make their way through the gravestone, trying to do as little damage as possible. Attempting trying. and failing miserably. Yeah, trying. This is going to turn into an episode of the Three Stooges, except there's like six of us. So twice as many antics. Well, one is a puppet. <laughs> puppet. Yeah, that's true. And one is a summon. You dropped your toy behind the couch. Yep. It's one of them. Okay. It's Who's standing in the middle of gravestones, by the way? Is that Willow? I don't think we were before. Yeah, I thought we had all gotten out of the gravestones. We did. Yeah, she definitely wasn't standing there. I don't think. No, we were on the path. Alright, so I did, uh, well, the wolf I did know knocked over, the wolf did knock over gravestone fighting the one guest. Yeah, yeah, we ended up killing two. But I, that's actually where you guys oh, pretty much were. But I was trying to align, like, the grids on the map with the grids on the background. No. Oh. When you put Big Doofus on a gravestone again, we don't need him kicking over another one. <laughs> I wasn't going to charge you for that one. <laughs> you know what? We won't have to worry about any of these guests if we just knock over all the gravestones and beat them all up. Uh, Gnome Face smiles and goes, well, I could just blow up the entire grave. Wait, you can do that? Well, it'll take probably about five weeks, but yeah, I could do it. <laughs> I don't think the gas would give you five weeks to do that. Well, that's what you're here for. You're my meat shield. Okay, chalk it down on the calendar. We'll make a date of it some other time. But not today. <laughs> I kind of wander slowly through staying on the path. Yeah, I'm I'm not going to try and, uh, you know, barge forward. I'm going to let Gnome Face and the others kind of nimble their way through. So is this uh, midday or nighttime? Um, when, you, when you walked in, it seemed like midday, but then it got oh, yeah. pretty dark. It's okay, so it's like an unnatural darkness? Uh, you sort of feel that, but you don't know at the same time. Okay. So are we splitting up or what? Uh, well, there's not enough room on the path for all of us to stay on the same path, so I suggest we we keep to the paths, and if you see anything or hear anything, shout out. It's not that big. We should be able to get to each other quickly. Alrighty. Yeah, we shouldn't split too far up, but it shouldn't be that bad to be, you know, this far apart. Or uh, further one, up if your face wants. One tank with one DPS, well, two DPS on top, a DPS and a healer down here. I think that should work out pretty well, even Stevens. Um, is this like the top of the building, or can I see that crest on the building? I think that's a sarcophagus, like a giant tomb or something. Oh, that's, that's why I'm asking the DM. Can like, I see this crest or no? You can sort of see it. it. It's it's not that tall. It's like two feet up. But okay. yeah, you can see that. It's on top. Okay. Um, I'm kind of curious about it, but I don't want to approach just yet. Um, 
Can I, I don't actually have any sort of magical perception skill, but can I kind of feel around and see if there's any sort of anything special emanating from there? You can roll for it. Hmm. Natural 20. You, you don't necessarily sense anything coming off of it. Okay. If it's anything like the rest of the cemetery, if we kick it, a giant gas will come up. Well, that's why I wanted to see if I could sense anything before I decide whether or not to kick it. So, Turiel, as... Oh, oh. Sorry. Um, yeah. uh, as you're walking past the... Uh, you were back. <clears throat> as you're walking past those gravestones, you start hearing a couple of them shake i hear what oh they're shaking a couple of the gravestones shake um can i like if i call out right now are they gonna be able to hear me where they are oh yeah you can um yeah, you can yell or whatever all right well I, I yell out to to gnome face that some of these gravestones are making some weird noises <laughs> Um, well, we should get back to her. Yes. Uh, Doofus lead the way since, you know, you got the path. Of course. Who am I to not answer the call of adventure? No, Donnie, as as you're walking past there, you start to hear the same thing. <laughs> yes. Okay. Some I think they know, Some... <laughs> think they know where you live. Well, we did kill two of them. I kind of want to get out of here. <laughs> Which ones rattled? Um, these ones. And also the ones next to you. Go down here. Yeah. And here. Yep. Okay. Um, do we know which way is out? Nope. We don't know which way is out. Um, <laughs> I mean, you can look around, but yeah. Um. I could have my owl fly out to these gates. I don't know how to make that circle thing come up. Always oh, there we go. To do that. I so, could have my owl fly out that way and see if that's the way out. It's an excellent idea. I'm, I'm going to summon my owl and have him do that and see if that's the way out. You do that. As your owl flies over there, your owl sees that there's an opening in the gate over there. Are there any gravestones beyond it? No. All right, I say we make it for that way. Oh, well. I'm gonna move down here. Yeah, hey. Just gonna, you know, gonna let everybody pass first. Don't worry, I'll guard the rear. After all, the shaking tombstones Ooh. were from over there. Real, the the gravestones next to you start shaking as well. Those ones too. <laughs> I walk on my tiptoes. You, you you do that. As you get close to the gate, you see it swing close in front of you. Uh oh. Oh great. You think you might be able to make it, but you also think that it might close in front of you. Um. Well, I'm gonna make. Should I make? Well. I don't want to get trapped and trap them in here with me not able to help them. Trying to yell to the front of the line, like, what's going on? Is the gate, like, in the process of closing? Yes. The gate's starting to close. Should we all just run for it? Yes. Let's book okay. it. <laughs> all right. Enjoy. As you get there, the gate seems like it closes faster than it was closing before, and it traps you in. Of course it does. <laughs> that would have been too easy. Well. Can I climb over it? You can try. Okay, what do I roll? Um, Strength. 
the gate's about like six feet tall. Uh-huh. Um. Trying to heave each other over it. So you make your way to the top, and as you're trying to climb over like the bar, you feel like something's pushing you, holding you in. Okay. Um. Um. I. I feel like there's another presence here. Well, I think there's a simple solution to this problem that we're not looking at. Let's break that gate. Um, I, I, I hold up a, a, a little midget hand, a gnome hand. Uh, I vote we explore a sarcophagus rather than punch the magical gate. You think a sarcophagus could help us get out? Or tomb. I mean tomb. Like either this one up here... Or the one we passed down here. I think one of them might have the key to us getting out of here. And uh, also might be why... Might be where whatever is bringing these things back to life is. We could try... I mean, what if Donnie just tried? Because if it's strength and he's pretty strong, maybe he could break it. A suggestion to try. I quite like. But he's got to get out of my way. Because I'm not about to go through the grass to get out of his way. <laughs> Okay, one make way. Want to back up the wolf one, and then I'll move Willow up one. Okay. okay, let's see this. I, I, you know, I crack my neck and I snap on my fingers, and I, uh, I grab my mighty sword, my my extra long great sword. And I get ready to just try and crush this gate. Uh. Should I just roll a strength check like normal? Sure. Where's Owen? I can't see Owen. Owen tried his camera off. Why? 24. You turn your camera off. You swing your nice. mighty sword into the gate. And oh, you're like, oh, okay. it's it like starts going through the the top of it. And, and then it just stops. Oh, maybe a second swing. You try to pull your sword out, but you can't. Uh-oh. Uh, what? what? <laughs> can I, can I, uh, <laughs> you know, roll for it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this never happens, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you are unsuccessful at pulling it out. Jeez, it's really in there. <laughs> Don't face. Try to melt it. I mean, it's already a molten greatsword. It's pretty hot already, I would like to think. It didn't. Daddy, it didn't turn. Don't face. Oh, what? Sorry, I got distracted. Daddy? Try what? to melt the door. The sword is stuck in it. <laughs> I kind of start grinning mischievously as I walk up behind him. <laughs> what are you doing? No, 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 no. <laughs> I point my, um, I know, buddy, I heard you. Let's see. I don't have anything that does a constant heat. I know that look. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I take my, uh, my, I take my fire blade. You do so. And and then I, uh, wedge it in (laughs) underneath, in between, uh, Big Doof's Donnie Danger's legs. And I wedge it in where his sword is. And I start helping him lift with my fire blade. In the biggest Not as bad as I thought. Good idea. Let's heave and hoe. All right. While you're doing this, Donnie, the your sword starts to feel really hot as you're pulling on it. You feel like if you keep pulling on it, you it might either but, uh, come free or you're gonna get burned. If I keep pulling on it, it might come free, or you might get burned. 
One of the two. Yeah. Or it might break. Mm. Oh, yeah. Pay good money for this thing. If it breaks, I'm going to have to talk to that blacksmith. And then I, I, will I don't know. This is half my earnings on this thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna break it trying to chop down a door. It's practically what it's made for. Come on, oh. face. Let's keep going at it. Okay, I keep helping. All right. After like a couple more minutes, you you still don't feel the sword budging. <sighs> Donnie takes six <laughs> points of heat damage. I shake my hands. Oh God! Ow, that's hot. <laughs> is there some sort of magic, you know, jamming it in there? Because this never happens to me. I swear, guys. Performance issues? No, never. Me? No. Uh, I retract my fire blade. Hey. I turn it off, and I say, "Well, leave the big sword there. You've got like what four other weapons strapped to your back." Let's go see if we can find out what's causing this, and you can get your sword back. By the uh, way, while you're trying to retract the fire blade, it doesn't move. Ah, you! I'd like I to start... exchange my wolf for my skeleton, if I can. Okay. I start to curse out Donnie Danger for the fact that now my blade is stuck because I was trying to help him. How was I supposed to know this would happen? <laughs> it was a perfectly sound plan. Can I ask my skeleton if he can help us in any way? Sure. I don't really know what else I can do to help. I still say we just go explore one of these tombs. I'm sure we'll find it. Find yeah. whatever we're looking for. We'll find whatever poltergeist slammed this door on our faces. And then we'll beat the crap out of it. Okay. That is my suggestion as well. You you're not having the skeleton help. I mean, if they don't if they don't want him to, I'll just I'll shut up. She's How welcome to do whatever she help? wants. We're in a graveyard. I don't know. He's already <laughs> dead. Got a point. Me and No Face are both jacked, and we can't move those swords. How for for the know? chance of role playing. <laughs> How about we say she summoned her skeleton while me and the doofus were fighting with the door and she talked to her skeleton while, before we interrupted her like a bunch of jackasses. Fair enough. What did I do? Uh, what that's I, what I thought would happen. What did I do in mommy's room? I don't know, buddy. Oh, all the way into the chair. So ask your skeleton your question. Um. Hi, buddy. Um. Can you tell me anything about where we are? He he kind of looks around and kind of like shape like he looks like he's shrugging. Uh, okay. Do you know how to do you think you would know how to get their weapons out of the door? He he looks at them and then he like he walks up behind them. Like, hey, I got an idea. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just look confusedly at the skeleton. What's he doing? Yeah, Dying Danger and Gnome Face, you notice that the skeleton's right behind you. I, I look back at Toriel dubiously, because she's used that skeleton on me a few times to scare me. But That's I... not what I'm doing this time. <laughs> But I just kind of let it be and, you know, find out my shit's stuck and start cursing out Donnie Danger. Do we need to get out of the way? <laughs> Has that skeleton got a plan or something? Don't ask me. Skeleton? Do you have a plan? The skeleton's pointing at the sword. Uh, okay, no, okay. Let's, let's, let's get out of the way here. <clears throat> Ooh. The, the, okay, I get out of the way. The skeleton walks up and like looks at the sword and tries pulling it. That was a genius plan. 
Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. Okay, never mind. Ooh. Skeleton, you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. I, I, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the skeleton struggles for a little bit, then stops, turns around, and then puts its arms up like, oops, I don't know. <laughs> well, thanks for trying, little buddy. I mean, <laughs> no surprises here. <laughs> After all, I couldn't move it. All righty, well, I guess we should try those uh, other places, huh? Yeah. I, I pipe up saying that I did try to scan this bottom one for magic and I didn't feel anything. So I think we should check this top tomb. Okay. Sounds promising. Should I'm not I... able to move the skeletons. So you might have to give me abilities for him. Yes. I forgot how to do that. Hmm. Where was it? It was just right here. Nope. Wrong. Huh. You can start walking, right? Yeah, maybe I should be the one who knocks. You know what? I'm all for that. Completely agree. I'll let you get blown up. Hmm. We'll see about that. Whoever's in there has something that belongs to me. Lodged in their doorway. But not the doorway I'm knocking on. <laughs> hey, Donny Danger, you need to take control of your NPC. <laughs> I'm sick of doing all your NPC's movements for you. I get excited. Okay, here we are. I'm just going to make room for somebody else to share a little spot. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to inspect the door, see if it opens freely, see if there are any traps around. Daddy, you only can do this. Here's, I'm going to step to the side because there's no gravestones here. Danny, you don't see any traps. Does the door seem to move freely? The door is closed. Okay. I'm going to push on it. Is everyone ready for this? You want to have me have my minion do it so that if something gets blown up, it's not you? Um, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I thought okay. I could take the other way. Um, skeleton, try to open the door. You do that. Okay. Is it open? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, I mean, oh, okay. The skeleton pushes and pushes, and then all of a sudden you see the door start creaking open. Hey, look, a door that doesn't fight back. Or steal swords. <laughs> and then... All right, he walks in. on the inside. <laughs> all right. Oh, hey, hey there, little guy. <laughs> Be careful. We don't know what's in there. What, Plus, maybe they'll think die? that he's like one of them. You know? No, maybe he'll see some friends. Or maybe they won't see him as an enemy, whatever's in there. All right, that's what I'm saying. All right, well, he goes inside. He walks in, and it's dark in there. And you can't really see what's going on. I have something in my inventory. Uh, give me a second. Well, your owl also has dark vision, doesn't it? I don't think I can have both of them at the same time, though. That is true. You're only allowed one summon creature at a time. Okay, I'll join your skeleton. Okay. It would be wise to keep him active for now. 
I have a strike and light torch in my inventory. Still have nine that I haven't used yet. <laughs> I forgot what town sold them, but they're very useful. Here, guys, watch this. I strike it across the ground. I'm assuming it lights up. I want you to roll. No. <laughs> Did you forget you gave this to us? <laughs> no. Yeah, but no. It, it lights up. Okay. It would just be funnier if you struck it on the ground and it didn't light. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to just creep up here and just shove past you, Toriel. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's head in there, uh, zombie. See what's in there. All right, so this map is not as narrow as you guys think. You have some wiggle room next to each other. You don't have to go single file on these paths for the most part. Oh, it's just if you go know. like here, then you're going to activate something. But you guys could be like there, then you're fine. Okay, zombie. Let's do this. Let's go. For glory. So you hold zombie... up a fist. Well, the zombie's already in, right? Yeah. Like skeleton. I think so. Okay. So, yeah, it, it was dark, and that Donnie walks in, and all of a sudden there's a bunch of green torches, almost cyan torches that light up. Oh, great. Ew. It illuminates the area inside. Huh. <laughs> hmm. I guess I just discard my torch. <laughs> well, that's one done. Eight more to go. Yeah, I got eight Does more left. Anything? Say what? Does he see anything? On the inside, he sees a weird structure on the back wall. And on each side wall, there's three archways. Wait. Hmm. So wait, there are three doors, three archways? There's three or archways on each side. Do they seem to lead into different rooms, or are they decorative? Uh, uh, you're still at the doorway. Oh. Um. Well, Skelly goes over here. Yeah, let's, let's get get in somewhere so we can actually see what's going on with those archways. I'll stay on the bottom corner of the door. I think Willow should be in as well, but um, Demi will stay just outside the door in the light still. Okay, I mean, there is room inside of it for all of you guys. It, if you oh. so choose. It, it, the map is only so big. But, alright, so as you guys enter, you investigate the archways. You see up, they're, they're not too deep, about six feet. And there's a pile of bones at the base of each one of them. Oh, these do the archways are they do they go somewhere? No. no. It's like um they're almost like a domey, like the the wall of the archway, like you go through the archway and it like curls to the back. Like it's only six mm -hmm. feet deep. Oh, okay. Like an altar. Kind of, yeah. Like like big decorative indents in the wall. Yeah, that, that stuff. And in each of the six, there's a pile of bones on the ground. Well, bones and magic are not my specialty. I don't really enjoy pillaging the dead as much as some people here, so... Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Last time, you're the one who got your ass whipped by the undead minotaur, okay? Yeah, well, you're mean... the one who set it on fire. Yeah, I did. Totally did. That was awesome. <laughs> Ellie reaches in and grabs a bone from the pile. He immediately drops it. Can I cast my new animate dead? You can try. I try to. I try to focus on a smaller, not so intimidating skeleton that I could see, and I cast animate dead. Nothing happens. Okay. Do have something that I haven't tried yet. 
I pull out my bone sore that I got from that that weird uh, tomb that we found the prince in. I see if it reacts at all to anything around us. That would have been pretty what cool, we, but it doesn't. What nope. if we light the bones on fire? Try to destroy them. Yeah, that was the idea we had with the flaming minotaur that uh, fucked up Danny Danger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work out. We, we tend to not light bones on fire anymore. <laughs> it kind of just makes them enchanted dead. <laughs> well, what if you freeze them? They I don't have ice magic. For all we know, they probably just inflict ice damage on us. <laughs> In addition to being undead. Either way, I don't have any ice magic. No. Well, I'm out of ideas then. Maybe we should just kick these bones. Well, I think that there was something or something to them because the skeleton couldn't hold on to it. Eh, I'm getting tired of these antics. I'm going to reach in and grab one of the bones myself. See if anything happens. You take five burn damage. I swear I didn't light him on fire. Is this because my hand still burns from trying to pull on that flaming sword? No. You feel, you okay. feel that the bone is really hot. These bones are really hot, guys. There's I can't shower dance. And we don't notice anything else in the room? All right, so you try to cast shower dance, but it goes above the tomb, like the entire building. That is not how this spell works. Use, use the water sword. <laughs> Stop fooling around, no face. Just use the water sword. I was trying to summon a rain cloud, okay? That's well, a little more right. effective than a water sword, but I take out my water sword and I poke the bone. Turiel, roll to see if you notice anything else. All right, you pull out your water sword and you touch a bone. Is that what you did? Yeah. The what are you? sorry. Uh, D twenty. Um, the mm -hmm. water from the water blade just evaporates into ah. a puff of steam. Ew, damn. And you don't have a water blade at the moment. Seriously, so my water blade is out of use for now. Yep. That's gotcha. two enchanted weapons that got this got eaten up by this place. Yeah, all because of your ideas, Toriel. You, uh, <laughs> They're good ideas. <laughs> Toriel, you look ar look around and you're like, guys, I see stone in this place. <laughs> There's rocks. There's a bunch of rocks. Uh, Maybe we should go to the other one. Might as well. Some, some weird juju going on here, but I don't see anything we can do. So, yeah. Let us move then. Disappointing. Yeah. My girlfriend did, ate Toriel. Uh, I was going to say, did you guys not want to investigate the markings on the back of the wall? Nobody told me about markings on the back of the wall. We must have not heard that. We really um, didn't hear that. Well, there wasn't necessarily markings. There's like a structure on the back of the wall. Like a little piece on the back of the wall. Oh. I, I said that in the beginning and then... Donny focus on the archways. I want to check it out because I speak yeah. Septarian. Yeah, let, let's just rewind a little bit because <laughs> we're definitely looking at that. All right, I examine the wall. Uh, on the back wall, you see a giant circle uh, with a little. It almost looks like a clock, but it has no hands. And in front of you, there's a, like, half circle, or like a circle that's in front of the wall, with like a, a giant bull on it. Like, like a uh, metal, I pull out, a metal, I still have the minotaur horn, right? Yeah. I pull out the minotaur horn. You do that. And I see if the markings on the statue of the bull match the markings on the horn or the picture of the bull. Oh, excuse me. It's match it's the clock. markings on the horn. Oh. oh like a bowl, like a giant saucer thing. Like oh, I thought giant... you said bull. Me too. Bowl. Like Sorry. a bowl. Like a cow. Yeah, I, I, I got what you're going for, but like no, it's like a it's like an Olympic torch bowl. Okay, gotcha. 
uh, then I don't take out the Manitou horn. Uh, do I recognize the markings? Do, do they look like any language I speak? You do not recognize the markings. So it's like a clock inside of a bowl? No, the clock's on the back wall. The clock looking thing. The bowl is on like a circle in front of you on the ground, like on a lifted platform or elevated platform. Okay. Um, is there anything in the bowl? Looks like some ash, some char. Uh, can I tell what time the clock is supposed to be saying? No, it doesn't have any hands. You, you're not really sure it's a clock. You just, it's, that's the type of shape. Okay, gotcha. So it's like a circle. Um, I like Big the circle. ashes. I, I use a uh, flame bolt and light the ashes. Because this, I think this is a brazier, uh, brazier and that we're supposed to be doing something with shadows. So I like the ashes in the bolt. Do you do that? And then, like, it's a nice big flame, but then it gets kind of small. But does and it you... stay orange, or does it turn green like the other flames in here? Oh, no, this one stays orange. Okay. Um. um oh, go ahead, sorry. As you do that, six of the markings on the wall light up. Okay, uh, well, I kind of rush everybody in, and I go, hey, 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 markings are lighting up. Everybody uh, take one, check one out, see what you can see. And I go look at one myself. Uh, I'm going to send, send my skeleton down to the gate to see if it, anything's changing down there. <laughs> okay. So the markings that lit up that you saw were, like, in the circle okay. on the wall. The six marking, like, there's a whole circle of them. Six of them lit up on that wall. Well, I guess I'm going to check it out. Not that I'm going to know what I'm looking at. <laughs> I don't really understand magic that well. Um, a little perception check all the same. Yep. Sounds about right. <laughs> you, you're looking at the back wall, and you're like, ooh. That's shiny. <laughs> I don't see what you're talking about, gnome face. Examine my mark. I uh, look at the mark. You you see it looks like a character in a different language. Neither the languages up. I know. No. We don't recognize the language. You do not. Not English, not Zaptarian. I, I don't really know what to make of this. Gnome face, you also notice that there is, as you're looking at it, something catches your eye, and there's a this a character lit up above each of the um, arches, and it matches one of each of those markings lit up on the back wall matches one of each one of those. Can we move the arches, or are the arches made out of stone? The archers are part of the building. And there's a pile of bones under each arch? Yep. Uh, I go to the arch by my mark. Uh, I look up at the arch to see what symbol it is. And then I take, you know, just the tip of my sword and I kind of shift through the bones to... I don't want to actually pick one up. I move them around to see if anything, like, even remotely resembles the mark. It does not. Mm -hmm. I go back to my mark on the wall and I see if the the stone it's it's marked on is loose or not. It's pretty secure in place. Well fuck. I'm out of ideas. Yeah, I don't know. Uh I guess I'll have try and have Willow roll for an idea. She kind of just been watching everything this whole time. Because I'm at a loss. No, she's probably not. 
not understanding this much better than I am. Yeah, neither am I. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Willow for the same. Like she's been holding it back. Yeah. So oh, Willow sh chimes in. She's like, maybe these markings are connected outside in the graveyard. Maybe we should look around. Oh, back to the idea. I haven't. I don't have any. I think we tried everything inside of this building. Let's look around the graveyard. Sounds like a start. That sounds like a solid idea that us seasoned adventurers should have came up with in the first place, except for making everything extremely complicated. <laughs> I mean, technically, Willow's just as seasoned as us. She just hasn't been with us. Johnny Danger, time. why are you standing in the grass again? I'm moving around to get on this side of. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tiptoe back. <laughs> I, I was going to try and get to the side, of the, the outside of the grave, tomb. Uh, I, they, um, if we really want to make this quick, the best bet would be to split into groups. That's, I was just going to say that we should split up and look on all the gravestones. Maybe, maybe the ones that are shaking. Yeah, shaking or anything that looks, you know, ominous. Um. But at the same point, stay within shouting distance. Come if you hear anybody shout. Oh, this is what you meant by outside wall. I thought you meant like the outer walls of the tomb. <laughs> I want to go I... check out this area. So Can that's I inspect where these to see if I see anything? Can you ask what? Can I look at these to see if they look like anything in there? Oh, so you're doing the same as Numpis. Okay. You guys pretty much at the same time. Are looking and you see like one of the gravestones right next to you has a similar symbol that you saw on the inside of the tomb i'm looking at this pile yeah looking you guys at are looking pile. at two different piles and you donnie you're not up yet <laughs> toriel and gnome face at the same time are looking at two different piles or two different sets of gravestones and they each find a character on one of the gravestones that re resent that they think they saw inside the tomb or the big building, the Monoceum. Gnome Face, uh, do you want to try to pick a fight with it? Well, I was just about to say, I look to Demi and I tell her to make sure she's got her protect on standby. And I approach the gravestone in my pile that has a mark. And I uh, I don't want to knock it down. I just kind of want to touch it, like put a hand on the top of it. You do so. As you do so. Wait, Toriel, what are you doing? I was probably just going to go up to it and see if uh, anybody popped out of the ground. Are you going to interact with it at all or just look at it? I was just going to look at it and see what happened to Gnome Face. Okay. So you, you don't know what's happening to Gnome Face at the moment, but... Oh, I thought he was close enough, but that's okay. You're, you're kind of focused on your gravestones. Okay. What, bud? Daddy's in the middle of D&D, buddy. Can you tell me after? Okay. Thank you. No face. A, a, as you touch it, a uh, beholder pops out of it. Oh, Are you oh, fucking oh, with me? Oh, 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 no. I pee a little in my pants. Oh, like, no. straight up pee my pants. <laughs> my armor is going to rush from the inside out. <laughs> I Do shot. Do that this happened or no? We we fought uh, kind of a beholder before. I think it was a weaker beholder. Yeah. And that thing nearly killed us. Yeah. <laughs> Not fun. I, I shout, like, straight up scream, bloody murder, hysterical, <laughs> girly scream. Oh, sorry. It's a spectator. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, never mind. Know. Well, now I'm less hysterical, but still kind of a girly <laughs> shrill comes out of my mouth. When yeah, for real. A spectator is what almost killed us. <laughs> <laughs> A beholder would just straight out nuke us. <laughs> All right. Anyway, well, yeah. Do I hear him screaming? You hear a loud shriek. I turn around and come over. Uh, yeah, me and me and Will are gonna rush rush our asses over there. I don't think we're gonna have any trouble noticing a spectator creeping up. I don't know how far we can go in one turn. No, you're back. You're, you're, you're here. Okay. You can't just run there before they actually act. 
gonna run until he told me to stop. <laughs> stop. Okay. You know Donnie Danger and his freebies. <laughs> I, 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 that's why I put him back. Um, Real do I get story. a besides my screen? Can I make an action before we start combat? Since he did, you know, kind of just jump out in front of me. No, that that's kind of uh, treat. Think of it as like Final Fantasy ambush. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Oh, so what? It didn't crawl its way out of the ground like a corpse. It just popped up. He, yeah, it, it, it like it kind of flew out. It like materialized in front of him out of the. It, like he saw it fly up from the ground. So uh, I'm the 17, and Demi is the 18. Uh, you should roll initiative, Toriel. Okay. All right, I should probably do that too. And two is for the skeleton. He's apparently too scared. Oof. Willow gets the net 20. Yeah. <laughs> she's really the superhero today. Yeah, she's been on fire. Now watch, she's going to come up for a hit and roll all ones. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's not going to miss, but she's going to roll all ones on damage. Okay. Will is up first. Okay. How far can she go? Like, you're going to try to wrap around one, two, three, I like four. The blue one. By the way, Donnie, do you want to add the hit points for you and Willow? And MP. Oh, yeah. Well, let me uh, check out the character sheets and get right on that. All right. So she moves. Can't really do anything. So Demi, you're up. Uh, she's going to dual cast her Holy Bolt at the Beholder. All right. Is that a... Do you have to roll for hit for that? Yep. Uh, two eights. They miss. Okay. Um, and then she's going to move back here to try to kind of stay out of the way. And then end her turn. Um, I was wondering, I was actually wondering why I had this token in my like folder tokens ready. Forgot Beholder. I made you guys fight one of them before. Yeah. Yeah, that sucked. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm gonna dual cast uh, as well. Um, let's see. I don't want to get into the grass because I don't want to disturb any more tombstones. So I'm going to do. I'm going to do one spark and one firebolt. But firebolt is a split cast now, so it's, um... So it'll actually be one spark and two firebolts. Okay. A 9, 18, and a 12. A 13. 9, 18, 13. The 18 hits. Five damage. And that was a firebolt. Okay. Is that it for your turn? E um instead of a movement, I'm gonna turtle up. Okay. You and then that. that'll end my turn. Alright, Tariel, it's your turn. All right, I'm going to do um precise shot at him with the fire arrows. Ah. Damn it. The first one hits. Okay. Mm. 
For five damage. And then... Two damage. What was the two damage one? The fire arrow. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right. Is That's that it, it for your turn? Okay. Yeah. Donnie. Okay. Now you can creep around or you can sprint right in. Uh, I can attack without sprinting right in. I'm going to... One, two, three, four. One. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to lunge. I'm going to try and do a power leap. That is in my skill set, right? Let me see. <laughs> Since when were you trying to become a Jagoon? Oh, that would be uh, jump. Actually... More so doing it to kind of surprise enemies by just jumping into the middle of their formation. Uh, let's see. Do I have that, or is this all in my head? You have I'm a lunge there. Sure. Lunge. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's not bull rush, so I'm assuming that's just me power jumping into a formation. Okay. Okay, I'm going to lunge for movement. I'm just going to try and get, would I be leaping on gravestones if I got, like, in one of these two blocks? Would I so, be able to make so I'm pretty sure that lunge is a lunging attack. Can I use it unoffensively? You can, but it'll be your action. Would throwing be a, a bonus action if I were to use a throwing weapon? Would I be able to do so? I'll allow you to throw. Okay, I want to lunge over here. So I'm going to try and do that. Roll a d20. Because that's... You, you're trying to jump, you know, 12 feet-ish. The agility, at least, so... 16. Not bad. So, uh, I'll say you make it, you kind of stumble. Because you, you, you try to jump extra high so you didn't catch a tombstone. Can I throw with a... Um... Um, penalty? No, I'll allow it. Okay. Is throwing agility or strength for a, a tomahawk? Um, no, man bear, do you remember what we used to do? What's up? <laughs> He's trying to throw with his tomahawk. Did we do strength or agility for throwing? Um... I think we did strength because it was, you know, arm strength for a throw, where agility is more like shooting a bow. Yeah, I mean that. Okay, we can do strength. Does that work for you? Yeah, I, I love it. <laughs> okay, so a penalized strength throw. Twenty-two. You hit. Okay, and my tomahawk's damage is. Not listed. It's a 1d6. Okay, 1d6. Okay, it is a throwing weapon. Do I add my strength to that? No. Not Any this modifiers? Time. Not this time. Okay. I deal 6 damage with my tomahawk. It was either that or we did like a 1d4 plus 2. <laughs> One of those two. All right, you deal six damage. Cool, yeah. I shout. What you get? And that's my turn. All right, it's the spectator's turn. Well, die in danger. It focuses on you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Do your worst. Or start softly. I wouldn't mind that either. Does 17 hit you? I don't think it does. 
No, it does not. Wait. Oh, it doesn't matter for you, AC. Oh, it doesn't? Okay, so you have to roll... Uh... Oh, yeah, you don't have constitution. We'll do a strength uh, saving throw. Twenty-four. All right. You, you you fend off a weird feeling. Am I oblivious as to what was attempted on me? Kind of. You uh, you just know that something weird hit you, but you didn't like you felt it, but you didn't feel it at the same time. Ah, I just regained my uh senses after that. Weird booiness, I just felt, oh, these magic monsters are the worst. Kind of thing fights with a headache. Okay. That's just lame. It's a skeleton turn. I um, made okay. this is very late. <laughs> so he, I'm not really sure what his attack is, but I have the stats for it, so he attacks. Um, he attacks with the sword. Um, he he can do two, two attacks a turn. Okay, well, we're going to try that again. Ooh. The second one hits. Oh. Okay. Four damage. damage. <clears throat> All right, it's Willow's turn. All right. Okay, can she get in there between all that action going on? Is she able to move far enough? I mean, yeah, she could move up to there. By the way, I love yeah. how you decide to leap over the top when her agility oh. is way higher than you, and she probably could run right in between right. the gravestones and not even touch them. Um, I want the uh, the garlic bread. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Did, did you Sorry. hear what I said? No, I had to do something. I was saying, I love how you have her walk around while you jump over the top of gravestones when her agility is high enough that she could probably walk right in between the gravestones and not even touch it. That didn't occur to me. <laughs> I kind of just thought they're insta-activate insta on a... <laughs> no, you actually have to, like, kick them or, some, or like, bump into them. Cause them harm. Whoops. Did not occur to me. Okay, so I'm going to try and get her in here. Yeah, if you would have landed on two of them, you would have summoned two monsters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, you won't get nothing if you don't go for nothing, so. <laughs> you also wouldn't get your sword lodged at gate if you didn't go for that, but. And, uh, she's going to go for a. Well, if any time seen for a super attack, it would be now, so that would be Flurry of Swipes. Um, yeah, 10 d 20 plus 6. Okay. <laughs> so that's plus 6 to all of that. Ooh. Not the best set of rolls. She hits with 6 of them. But not the worst. Okay, 64. Oh, yeah, see, we just talked about this. We'd all be like almost ones, basically. Wow. wow. I, ideally, left in damage. All right, you do that. And I uh, kick. Can't she pop smoke or do anything to, like, not stand out? At this point, no. All right. That's her action. Her turn. All right, Demi, it's it. Nobody got hurt that turn, so she's going to cast again. Okay. 
Uh, 17 and a 23. Both hit. Uh, your actual damage. Magical 1d6. <laughs> Wait, Demi's using an offensive attack? Yeah, she's got a holy bolt. Oh, 13 damage total. Holy crap. That's a lot of yeah. damage. Just like that, she shoots a holy bolt and the beholder kind of lets out a shriek and falls to the ground. Well, holy sh holy cow! Hey, I run goodness. over to her and I hug her and I kiss her and I hug her some more. And I go, that thing scared me! <laughs> and I and I around, guys, that thing didn't get a chance to mess us up. <laughs> a total victory. Hey, hey, hey Donnie. Yes. You see that gravestone that you're next to? Uh, should I maybe step away from it? You should poke it. Oh, quite the opposite suggestion from the one I expected. The one I was just inspecting anyway, so I think we're going to have to check it out. No, oh, very well. I poke it. And oh, just like that, spectator pops out. Woo! All right, everyone, we'll pick up d and in, in about a week or so. So come back and uh, hope you enjoyed.